Hi, I'm Marc Bauer from the French Culinary Institute. I'd like to show you how to carve a chicken. When the chicken cooks, the juices concentrate to the middle of the bird, and as it rests, the juices are allowed to flow back throughout. Once it rested, I will place a fork, a chef's fork, I mean, you could use your hand, but uh, you, sometimes the chicken is very hot. I put a chef's fork to the side in between the thigh and the drumstick and pull it back, applying some pressure with a knife. And it removes nice and easy if it doesn't fly anywhere. So I'm going to just do a little slice, and here we go. I could slice it in half now by going in between the drumstick and the thigh. Actually, you can remove the oyster, which is still in the bird. This is a delicate piece of meat that's mostly left on the bird. And that's why it's called in French le soliless. Silly people leave it. So I do that on the other side. Place my fork right in between the drumstick and the thigh. Give a little slash to cut the skin clean. And the same way, holding a little pressure with my with my boning knife, I pull out my legs. And at this point, I can separate the breast. I plunge a chef's fork right in the back of the bird, so it's sturdy, and I slice right in the middle of the breast and rub along the, carapa the carcass to remove the breast meat on both sides of the bird. So you can see I do some slicing and a lot of rubbing around along the carcass. You can see my chest fork is holding my bird sturdy. Once I down to the uh, joint, I cut right through it and my breast separates. There we go. Uh, if I have a big bird, I can cut this piece of meat again into a quarter. Once you have a quarter, I can cut into an eighth by cut it, cutting it slanted. I'm ready. Then I remove the other breast by applying the fork on the back, rubbing the boning knife along the carcass, wiggling my way down so that there's no meat left on the carcass. Once I arrive to the joint, I slice through it and my breast is separated from it. Flip it over, cut it again. Into an eighth. And there you have it, a perfectly roasted chicken ready to serve.